Hey, Trevor Matthews coming to you again with another two minutes with Trevor. I want to talk about Copeland's two stage scrolls, ZPS scroll compressors. What these compressors are mechanically modulated scrolls where you're taking the scroll set, bypassing it and reducing the capacity of that compressor to give you better temperature and humidity control and how it's done. There is a special solenoid built inside the compressor right here that has bypass ports in the scroll set to really reduce the size of that compression of the scroll set. And as you can see here, when it energizes, it fully loads the compressor. When it's de-energized, that compressor is unloaded and it runs at 65% of its capacity. You, they used to be called Ultratex, they were 67%. The newer ones, the new uh, K6s, they're 65% capacity. What you need to know is that there's a AC-DC rectifier plug that goes onto these compressors. And what it'll do is you need a two-stage thermostat. Y1 plus Y2 will equal 100%. That Y2 kicks out, now it's only 65%. Things you need to know about it. The high pressure control max, these are 410 applications only, 650 PSI. Low pressure for heat pumps, 20 PSI cutout. Uh, low pressure for AC cutout, 55 PSI. TOD, that's temperature operating disc, trips out at around 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Where the crankcase um, heater is located, you need to make sure it's within uh, 0.3 and 1.6 inches uh, from the base plate. How to wire it up if you're using uh, the rectifier plug. Y2 to the uh, rectifier model plug, Y1 to the compressor contactor. Okay? Last thing you need to know, to check that solenoid, you need an ohm out, and if you have an ohm resistance of 1640 uh, ohms, then you know that compressor is, uh, that solenoid is good. I did a podcast with Brian Orr, I'm gonna throw it in the link below, you can listen to the whole thing. My name is Trevor Matthews, let's get a conversation going.